Hello, good afternoon. My name is Tiago Caruso. I'm the business development manager of the Happy Beavers. And today I'm going to tell you about the importance of SEO nowadays. I'll start by introducing ourselves. We're a digital agency working around content marketing. So creating engaging texts, uh, copywriting, translating, and uh, managing the complete content marketing projects of our clients. I'll start with this famous uh, sentence. The best place to hide a dead body is the second page of Google's search. Of course, this is a joke, but uh, it makes sense because none of us really uh, Google beyond the first page that much. And we can see here on the chart that 50% uh, of, of searchers just make it to the first page and that's it and only about a third goes to the second or third page and only 14% go beyond that. So long story short, if you don't fall on the first page of Google's results, your business is virtually non-existent. Your potential clients will not find out that you exist, that your website is there, which products you're selling and therefore they will not buy from you. So, as I said, we will speak uh, about SEO today and I will start with uh, explaining what SEO means. So, SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. The name says it all. It is the art of ranking on the first page of Google or any other search engine, having in mind the specific keywords that lead to your business, to your website, to your industry as well. So we should uh, start by um, understanding that there are two types of SEO, on-page and off-page. On-page has to do with um, the improvements that you can do in your own website, while off-page is anything that can be done in other websites, in other plat online platforms, not necessarily on your website. So. Uh, on-page on SEO involves optimizing your content, your meta tags and other elements. Um, for example, writing engaging content, relevant content for your target audience, um, improving the speed of your website. This is very important as well. Uh, and of course, improving the keywords that you use all over your website. Um, this is extremely important when you want to rank high on Google through those keywords that people are searching for. You have to have in mind that those keywords are uh, what separates you from that person who is searching for something, right? Then off-page SEO, um, as I've said, um, it refers to actions that can be taken outside of your website of your web pages and we're speaking about social media for example that redirects to your website and um, that engages with potential clients on those specific platforms we're speaking about instagram facebook linkedin and so on um, but where the objective the final objective is to make people visit your website and then we have other actions that can be done, like the guest blogging, meaning um, that you place specific content in other websites or in other blogs, redirecting once again to your website, um, has the objective of making your brand uh, more famous, um, especially for the users of that specific website where you're posting. And a bit similar is the link building strategy. So link building um, is placing links in other websites, in other blogs or web platforms, redirecting to your website, okay? So this is a very important strategy because Google's algorithms uh, realize that other foreigner web pages are redirecting to your own web page. So Google realizes that um, you're probably uh, an important 
website um, authority in that particular niche. And that's why um, it is important to have as much referrals as possible. So it's other websites, other people basically advertising your own um, website, your expertise as an expert within that field. And as we have seen um, on page, as SEO is about relevant and useful um, improvements in your website, off-page off SEO is about making your website popular among other websites. Now, we have to have in mind that when someone searches um, for something online, usually uh, that person has one of two intention, intentions, either buying something or just research for information just for the sake of knowledge, right? So have in mind the customer journey, what are the steps that a um, potential buyer does since the moment that they think about buying until the moment they click uh, on your website and they purchase uh, the item or service that you are selling and have in mind that along this customer journey, the first step or one of the first steps is to research for information about that product or service. Um, also comparing it to other competitors. So these are the terms, the keywords where you want to focus, the buying intent keywords, okay? Those are the ones that will take you closer to your potential clients and to closing deals. And these are the ones that you have to understand, that you must understand deeply and work around them in order to drive that, um, that warm, um, those warm leads to your website. Well, we know the importance of search engines in our lives. Uh, this chart just confirms that, shows that um, actually using search engines uh, is the second thing people do the most online after sending or reading emails. And actually they even spend more time searching for terms, um, for keywords, for words, for sentences they do it even more than using their social medias or searching for the news or for the weather forecasts, right? Um, so very important where people spend a lot of time. That says a lot of, about the importance of uh, getting this search engines game correct. Well, search engines love lockdowns. Uh, it's easy to understand why um, we have all been or almost all of us uh, have been locked uh, at some point during several weeks, most of us during the last year due to COVID-19. And obviously if uh, Googling was something very popular already, it just boomed because of the pandemic. Shops are closed, uh, shopping malls uh, are also closed or with reduced working times and of course people staying at home um, had to find a solution for their buying uh, needs and the easiest was just uh, getting on search engines and searching for those uh, specific words and due to this we know that 70 percent of the consumers are now searching online so have in mind that um, the digital marketing is uh, just increasing its share within the global marketing uh, options. Online marketing is um, the most important part of marketing in the future. It is probably already nowadays, but it is just going to increase even more um, that share. And that's why you must focus on SEO and on improving your uh, ranking. Of course, there's other, um, there's other reasons why we want to perform that well on search engines. 
they are a long-term so source of relevant um, traffic. They lead to a better user experience and to an optimization in, in customer conversion. We know that the, mo the, the more time people spend in your website, the better it will rank on Google because once again, the algorithm realizes that someone entered your website and actually stayed. That means that they are consuming your, your content, that they are scrolling down, that they are uh, visiting different pages within your website and therefore Google considers it's a relevant website for those specific keywords. Okay. Uh, obviously, uh, we also want to rank well because all of us have used Google to search for some something and we know that companies that fall on the first page um, tend to be seen as better, more efficient, more updated, more modern maybe, and tend to just answer our needs in uh, an easier way. And that's why we don't go beyond the first page. And that's why we would probably consider uh, a company that falls on the fifth page less professional maybe than the one that falls on the first page. Well, SEO is also um, the most important sales um, tool nowadays. It's the one that converts sales or hot leads the most. We know that 82% of the marketers who have a blog and post daily acquire customers via that blog. This is very important. We will see it um, further on on the presentation, uh, but I will just spend a little time here explaining this. A blog is a very important part of your website nowadays. It is used to engage with your customers. It is used to post relevant um, content, updated content, right? Something is happening right now or in the past week or month and you want to immediately write about it uh, because you know that people are searching for that. They want to find new information, updated information. And if you have written good content about uh, that specific topic, they will probably find your piece of content, your article. They will visit your blog. They will read it. They will probably read a few other articles. And from there, they will probably navigate throughout your website. And that is a step closer to closing a deal. As we have seen, SEO has a much better conversion rate than other uh, types of marketing. And that's why we need to understand um, how do we optimize our website for SEO. Simple answer is to have a good on-page SEO follow followed by uh, an even better off-page SEO. This is very simple, uh, but it doesn't uh, do the trick just by itself. So another key sentence that we must have in mind is that Google will not love you as long as your target users do not love your website. We have spoken about this. Um, Google's algorithms understand how people search for terms how people navigate the web, uh, searching for the answers to those questions. And they understand what potential buyers or visitors do at your website, how long they stay, how they navigate, how they jump from your website to other websites, and if they find the relevant answers in your website or not. That's why uh, f first and foremost, the users have to uh, engage with your website and then Google will start understanding that and will start giving you extra points in its ranking. How do we do this? Well, if you follow these instructions, you will probably be closer 
to that uh, goal of ranking on the first position on Google and attracting even more clients. Um, but uh, let's start with the basic. The basic is to have um, an appealing and easy to navigate website. This is obvious. This just confirms what I, what I have just said. An appealing website, an updated website will uh, keep your, your visitors happy they will spend more time on your website and that will once again um, contribute with extra points. Then, um, or even before that, uh, it should start with uh, your programmer. Uh, your website should have the right coding syntax. The ones who fall, who fail on this uh, are immediately um, downgraded on Google's algorithm. So start here, start with the correct coding syntax, insist with your programmer for that. The current and relevant content we have also um, spoken about. The, the more an, a website or a blog is, is updated, the more it is relevant, the more um, the higher chances um, of being found by uh, people that are looking for the correct information on that very moment. And then uh, the keywords, also one of the key points. So as I've said, keep in mind that keywords are probably the step that is between your website and a searcher, a potential buyer, potential customer, a potential warm lead, right? So use the right keywords for your industry, for your website, for the product or service that you're trying to sell. Use them correctly. Uh, find which ones are, are relevant. Sometimes um, the ones we have in mind are not relevant. There's um, tools all over the internet that help you getting to those correct keywords and use them everywhere in your titles, in your meta tags, in image descriptions. This is very important. Many people uh, do not uh, describe their pictures or they just write something irrelevant. Uh, but keep in mind that people are using uh, Google search or image search as well. So that can also drive traffic. And then of course, H1, H2, H3, um, tags, meaning uh, header one, header two, header three. Um, URLs, your URLs should also indicate uh, clearly and easily your keywords. So keep in mind that keywords are probably the most important aspect of uh, SEO. Then include a, a blog. We already, um, we have already seen why use SSL certificates to increase the trust and security on your website. This is uh, important as well, especially when you want someone to pay via your website. This is uh, very important. Some clients will not buy if they don't see the SSL certificate. They worry about their credit cards. So have this in mind. Uh, nowadays, uh, this should be something mandatory to have a responsive website. I guess most people already do it. Uh, that means that your website opens correctly in any device. It's easy to navigate and to see uh, its layout in any device. Mobile first, because you should have in mind that people, um, all of us are spending such a, a, a huge amount of our time just navigating in our smartphones that it, they are probably the first resource we use when we need to search for something, just to navigate, uh, to, to surf the web. So build a website that people can um, trust, can feel comfortable reading when they're using their mobile phones. And then of course, a fast loading website is uh, an important feature. We all uh, have, dropped some websites, some searches, just because the pages were not loading and we were not patient enough to wait five or 10 seconds for it. 
So if you want to decrease the bounce rate, you should have fast loading website. Here is a small uh, summary of every, everything I've said. This chart uh, shows us um, the relevancy of all these tools, all these actions that drive us to a winning SEO. So the publication of engaging content, updated content, um, relevant is probably the most important part of, of your SEO of Google's algorithm, um, but then there's all the other aspects that we have covered. The keywords are also very important. The strategy of backlinking, as I have explained, um, that's uh, the strategy of placing links on other websites to your own website, right? Um, telling Google that you're an authority in, in that particular niche. Uh, that there's more people, more websites, more online platforms uh, redirecting to you, referring to you. And then of course, uh, pick a niche, pick a niche. Do not try to sell to everyone. Uh, do not think that, uh, well, there's so many inhabitants in, in our planet, I can sell something to all of them. That is not the correct strategy. You should focus on a niche that you control, that you're an expert at, and just try to sell that specific niche. Try to um, solve their problems, try to engage with them, to understand their needs, their pains, their uh, what drives them. And if, if you get that, you will be much closer to the right answers to the right website and to the right um, customer support. And of course, all of that leads in the end to selling. That is it uh, from me today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the presentation. I hope you learned something. We will have a Q&A session right now. So please um, just speak with, with me, uh, ask your questions comment whatever you think it's relevant and after this event you can still um, reach out via linkedin or via my email address that you can see here and that is it for me i hope you enjoyed and learned something today bye